In recent years, the youth of the Church have responded to the spirit of Elijah in an inspiring way. Many now hold their own limited-use temple recommend and use it often. Temple baptistries are busier than ever. Some temples have even had to adjust their schedules to accommodate the increase in the number of young people attending the temple. It used to be a rare but welcome exception for youth to bring the names of their own ancestors to the temple. Now this is the norm, and very often it is the young people themselves who found those ancestors. In addition, many youth have discovered that giving of their time to do family history research and temple work has deepened their testimony of the plan of salvation. It has increased the influence of the Spirit in their lives and decreased the influence of the adversary. It has helped them feel closer to their families and closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. They have learned that this work saves not just the dead, it saves all of us. The youth have caught the vision admirably. Now their parents need to catch up. There are now many people who have accepted baptism in the spirit world because of the work done by the youth, and they are waiting for other ordinances that only adults can perform in temples in this world. The work of gathering Heavenly Father's family is not just for young people, and it is not just for grandparents. It is for everyone. We are all gatherers. The Internet's power to enhance communications has enabled families to work together to do family history research with a speed and thoroughness never before possible. Why is all of this happening? For a lack of a better term, we call it the spirit of Elijah. We could also call it equally fulfillment of prophecy. I bear testimony that Elijah did come. The hearts of the children of you and me have turned to our fathers, our ancestors. The affection you feel for your ancestors is part of the fulfillment of that prophecy. It is deeply seated in your sense of who you are, but it has to do with more than just inherited DNA. For example, as you follow the promptings to learn about your family history, you may discover that a distant relative shares some of your facial characteristics or your interest in books or your talent for singing. This could be very interesting and even insightful. But if your work stops there, you will sense that something is missing. This is because to gather and unite God's family requires more than just warm feelings. It requires sacred covenants made in connection with priesthood ordinances. Many of your ancestors did not receive those ordinances, but in the providence of God, you did. And God knew that you would feel drawn to your ancestors in love and that you would have the technology necessary to identify them. He also knew that you would live in a time when access to holy temples where the ordinances can be performed would be greater than ever in history. And he knew that he could trust you to accomplish this work in behalf of your ancestors. This is the work of our generation. What the Apostle Paul called the dispensation of the fullness of times when he said, God would gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth. This is made possible through the atoning work of God's beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Because of Him, our family members who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, for He is our peace, who had made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. You have felt this, as I have, when you have experienced an increase of love. As you looked at the picture of an ancestor, you have felt it in the temple when the name on a card seemed like more than a name, and you couldn't help but sense that this person was aware of you and felt your love. 
I testify that God the Father wants his children home, again, in families and in glory. The Savior lives. He directs and blesses this work, and he watches over and guides us. He thanks you for your faithful service in gathering his Father's family, and I promise you the inspired help that you seek and need. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.